Okay, welcome everybody. This is a uh, 2001 stabilizer. I made some explanation. Somebody was asking me of the delay. I said, let me use the advantage to do something on the delay button. And when you look at board like this, you see something called delay here. This is the delay. The way it works is that some are five volts, some are grand, uh, some are zero volts. Some use the five, uh, the VCC. Some use the grand. So when you press that button, it sends a voltage to this pin, and either it sends a low voltage. This is the VDD, which is the same thing as VCC, the high. This is the grand, which is the same thing as low. Depending on the design of that stabilizer, as you press the button, it sends either the five volts or the grand to this particular pin here. To this particular pin, let's see. To this particular pin here, and it sends a signal to the IC. And I've already taught you people about this IC. You can check the video link below to see more on this IC. This is a uh, CD4069. I've talked to you. I've, I've talked about it. When the input is low, the output is high. When the input is high, the output is low. That's how it works. But let me go straight now. First of all, if it only sends out. What you have to understand first is what you have to understand is the output relay. Now, where is the output relay here? This, you turn the back. If you look where all the relay are connected, but the output relay, one of the legs is not connected. So meaning this is the output relay. So the output wire comes from here, the center of the relay. When you open some stabilizer, you find out that some people, they are bypassed it, remove it from this place, and go and put it here, and put it here. So, it's here, the output, so that whenever it triggers, this one switches to this side. This trigger line is always at this place. When voltage comes in at this point and this point of the relay, it switches like this. It switches like this to this place. Make a contact with this to the output. Now, if it triggers off automatic, check the transistor. I've told you before, each of these relays are controlled by a transistor through a resistor to the IC. This is the relay through a resistor, transistor to the IC. So if you are troubleshooting the sorting out, one, check your relay. Number two, check whether this line is soldered properly to this place or they did not bypass it. Number three, check whether the transistor is, this is the transistor to this one. You can trace the line and see yourself. Come here, the resistor here to this transistor. Okay, is this one. From my tracing just now is this one. So this one is the output. So this one is the output. From what I traced just now, this leg comes like this to this place, from here to this place, from here to this one, which is this one to the IC. So, point number one if it gives that output suddenly, check the relay, whether it's not bridging. And how do you know? At times, if you just on it, it just trigger automatic. Check this relay. Or check the line, whether they did not connect it to here direct. This is the position for it. Then check whether the transistor 
is okay let me come again this one can make it give a sudden output the transistor can make it give a sudden output if the wire is bypassed can make it gives you a sudden output if the ic is faulty you can still give you but this is the last point it does not easily get to this point so once again this is all i just wanted to know about a stabilizer that suddenly that just give an output immediately it does not delay so thanks for watching